Hi, Lila's Gigi here, and I'm happy that the Looming Artist is letting me do another one of her tutorials. I'm going to do this on railroad ties. Beautiful little design. Um, I've decided to, where these go up and down here, I am going to put um, a long skinny bead in there, and I'll show you how I laid it. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, initially, when I laid it, I thought it was going to be on the diagonal beads, and boy, was I wrong because the diagonal beads are, mm, or the diagonals are actually in here, somewhere between these that go out like that. So, um, yeah, let's get on with this. Oh, but before we do that, um, if you are not following um, the Looming Artist, Please give her a follow. She has a fantastic account. Awesome renditions and some just unbelievable um, designs on her account. So I'll put that aside and we will get started. So I am going to use uh, bronze, the LE bronze, and lay a band first. And then I'm going to take it out to the right. Diagonal and then up, and then on the left hand side, the same thing from the center. Diagonal up, if I can get those bands on there, and then straight up. So you'll take this all the way up, and I am probably going to stop a little short um, of the end. I'm not sure if this is a tight design or not, but I like mine. Um, to where I can use the magnetic clasps. <clears throat> if it doesn't matter to you and you want to use the C-clips, then by all means, you know, take it all the way down to the end. So, the next thing we're going to do is lay these cross bands here. This is where I'm going to lay my beads. Um, <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I thought it was on the diagonal, but no. And these are the little beads that I've strung. They're a real thin, uh, longish type bead. So um, that's what I'm going to use. So we're going to start on the left hand side, second pin bar, second pin. And I have a problem because those are long and skinny, but they fit perfect in there. So one across and then another one across. And if you're not laying um, beads, that's fine. You'll just do, you'll start second pin bar, second pin up, lay a band, and then lay another band. I'm going to go ahead and lay one more of these for you. Starting here, the first one, and come on, the second one, second end of it anyway, and then just like this. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera and when I come back I will show you where I stopped at the top <clears throat> again. Start here, you go out and lay your border band, come back, second pin up, second pin bar, left to right, to right, go up to the next one, to the right, to the right. And these are very thin, so I'm able to um, lay them on each pin bar. If they were uh, larger beads or a little thicker beads, like um, I would not be able to do that. They would be in the way. So. That being said, I will be right back and show you what the top looks like. Okay, I am back and this is where I ended. I went straight up in on the diagonal and into the center pin. If you take it all the way to the end, you will stop here, the second pin from the top, go up on the diagonal and then take it into the center. Okay, so it'll be from here to here to here. And I chose to drop it down. Okay. Um, Easy peasy part right now. We are going to lay um, single chains on the second pin bar straight up. Let's get some of these out of my hand. And make sure you push your bands down. Continue to push your bands down. If you don't, um, you're going to end up um, having to stop what you're doing and push them down anyway. So, all right, so that's one. Now, I'm choosing to use the same color as my border for the center. So you'll go to the center uh, pin bar and lay the same thing straight up. 
trying to make sure I keep that on camera this time. Straight up. Okay, just like that, all the way up. We're going to do one more side. And then I think instead of going off camera, I'm going to stay on and show you how to do the next part before we loom. Okay, so second pin bar from the right, start with the first pin. You're going to lay single chains all the way up to the end. All the way up. Oh goodness, I have dogs and I get little hairs everywhere. So, there we go. So it will look like that all the way down to the end. Okay, you can pause and rewind if you need to. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, what is the name of this? Um, Egyptian brown. I love the Egyptian brown. And we're going to lay the zigzags next. Okay? <clears throat> Again, it's pretty easy bracelet. A little different the way you loom it up. So, first pin bar, diagonal to the right, diagonal to the left. Too many in my hand. Diagonal to the right. Diagonal to the left, diagonal to the right, all the way up. Mirror image on the other side, starting at your last pin bar. Diagonal to the left, got some more bands. Diagonal, oh, I see I didn't push that down. Diagonal to the right, diagonal to the left, diagonal to the right, all the way up to the end of the loom, okay? And I will be back when I finish that, and we'll start, actually, I believe, looming after this. Okay, see you soon. I am back, and there is one more step before we loom, So, but it's pretty easy. So um, let me just show you the end of the loom. So I took the single chains all the way up to the end first, and then I laid the diagonals just like this, and you end up should end up right here, okay? All right, so let's go to the next step. What we're going to do is we're going to lay upside down Vs. Start the second pin bar, first pin, and diagonal to the center. Okay, next one will be diagonal down and to the right. The same thing, up, and then up towards the center. And then we'll do one more up and up towards the center and do that all the way up the loom and then I will be back make sure you push your bands down for the looming process and I will be back to show you how to loom it up okay so I am I am back and I stopped off with this last inverted V um, to the center diagonal to the center okay now we can turn it around and do a cap band in the very center, one, two, third pin bar, first pin. Not always really good with these cap bands, but um, I usually do a triple cap band. I don't know, just because, I forget. But anyway, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to loom up um, these pieces right here and then the center. So we're going to go into the cap band and take this first diagonal. Okay, into the cap band, first diagonal, well, maybe. First di, hello. <laughs> All right, I think I got it now. And loop it back to itself. Okay, go in and take the second one, the one that goes off to the right, the diagonal, loop it back to itself. Reach in and grab that center pin and loop it straight up. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go in here, grab your top band, which is the diagonal to the left, or it should be. Go in, grab the diagonal to the right, and then loop. Now I have, um, don't worry about the pins on the bottom, the bands on the bottom. If you if you just have um, regular bands with no beads, they'll be across here and across here. So go and get the top one, which is that single chain, and we'll worry about those in a little bit. Okay, one more time. 
reach in diagonal to the left, diagonal to the right, and then straight up. Okay, finish that all the way up to the end of the loom and I will be back. Okay, I finished that segment, ended up with, from this pin, bringing the diagonal up to the left, up to the right, and straight up. Okay, now I probably should have um, included this in that segment, but that's okay. Um, you're going to have your bands or your beaded bands that go across these pins right here and these pins right here that we laid. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go in, grab the top one, and bring it back to itself. You'll go in, grab the next one, bring it back to itself, go into the center, grab the top band, bring it back to itself. Whether it's beaded or not, it doesn't matter. You're going to just bring it back. Okay, I'll do that one more time. Into the center, bring it back to itself, down below, and bring it back to itself. Do that all the way up the loom, and I will be right back with you when I'm finished. I am back, and I finished up these cross bands all the way across. Stopped the second one, second pin from the top, brought it out to the left, and brought it out to the right. Okay, I'm going to go down to the bottom. We're actually going to work these bands right here, including this single band. But before you do that, you want to reach in here and grab your border band, and then bring it back to itself. Okay, and mine's a little snug in there, so let me give this a tug to bring it where it belongs. Okay, I'm going to go in and grab the other side and bring it back to itself. Second pin bar, first pin, I'm going to go in and grab the single band and bring it up to itself. And make sure you've pushed your bands down. I think I may have forgotten a few of them. Second pin bar, second pin up. We're going to go in there and take care of these diagonals now. Let's go in, grab your top band, which should be your diagonal down to the left. Bring it back to itself. Go in and grab the next top band, which is the diagonal up to the left, and bring it back to itself. Now, these bands, okay, I'm going to show you on this side. This right here is the band with my bead on it, or as you, if you want to call it, the cross band here. It's still hanging out down here on the bottom. And if we loop this up, it's going to fall apart. So, let's see if I can get it to where you can see it. Uh, might be a little close, but we'll see. Okay, you can kind of see it. I'm going to reach in between these two pins, across the top of the border band, reach in and grab the bottom band, which is the one that my bead is on. And then we're going to bring it up and over that pin. Okay? I'll do it on the other side also so you can see, hopefully, get us back into focus. All right, let's try it again. We're going to go in, grab that band that goes straight up, first pin, second pin bar from the right, going to go into that same pin that we just dropped that off on and we're going to do these diagonals. Okay, Reach in, make sure you go through all of those bands. I have a little bit of a problem. Come on. Let's try this. Well, it doesn't want to let loose, does it? Alright. Oh, goodness. More than let's see if I can't figure out how to get this. I don't know why this one is so difficult for me. Bands are a little slippery. Maybe that's one of the problems. Sometimes if I pull them back, I can find it. I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna cooperate right now. So bear with me while I grab that band. I know I'm not the only one that has problems with it. Oops, and I almost had it. Oh goodness. Goodness me. Alright. There it is. Oh my goodness, struggle. Bring it back to itself. Go in that same pin. Grab the top band, which is the diagonal up and to the right. Okay. Don't forget to bring this um, cross band, the bottom one, up and over the top. 
If you do, you're going to have some problems. So let's see if we can even see it. Um, well, going through these two pins, and I'm sorry, but the angle, you just can't really see it. Grab the bottom band. The very bottom band is that beaded band for me. Okay? Up and over. May as well stay on this side since we're here. We're going to go one, two, second pin bar in from the right, second pin, reach in and grab that single band and bring it up into itself. Okay? Going to that same pin, we're going to do the diagonals. This is where I had my problems. Oh, not so much on this one, I guess, maybe. Maybe I'll get lucky. Here we go. And then bring it down and back to itself. Take the other diagonal, reach in, grab that pin. I'm sorry, grab that band and bring it back to itself. We're going to reach in. Now watch carefully. Okay. This is the band, the um, pin we were working in. If you look at this, it sort of makes a little bit of a triangle. That is where we're going to go in. And we're going, going to go on the top of these bands that are laying right here. Okay. If you reach in and grab that bottom band, the very bottom band, if you tug on it, you'll be able to slightly see where my pin is moving. I'm, well, my bead actually. And then bring it up and over the pin before you take that single band up. Let me do it one more time on the left side. Okay, second pin bar from the left, second pin up, go in, grab that single band, bring it up to itself, go into that same pin, grab the top band, which is, should be your lower diagonal, and bring it back to itself. I apologize for the jiggling, I keep hitting my camera. So one, two, three up now. Go in, grab that other diagonal, bring it up and back to itself. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to explain this again. You're going to drop down one pin and over to the left. It sort of makes a diagonal in here. Okay, so right in here, these right here where we just laid that single band up and we did these right here, you're going to drop down and right in that space is where you're going to go. You're going to go on top of these bands on the left hand side, reach in underneath and grab the bottom band. The bottom band is that cross band that you laid and again like I said, if you do not pull that up and over, it will not connect it and it will fall apart. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. Cha-ching. Single band, straight up, go into that same pin, grab your top band, which will be your lower diagonal, bring it back to itself, go in, same pin, grab your upper diagonal, bring it up to itself, reach in, not in here, but in here across the top of these bands. Reach in, grab that bottom band. You'll know, you'll see, if you pull and tug on it, you'll see it move. Bring it up and back to itself. Okay, you might have to rewind a couple of times. Um, that's fine. Uh, do whatever it is that you need to do. I've done one, two, three, four, five of them. I think you should be able to get it. Um, I don't know what to tell you. It's it's so hard to see that band on the bottom, but you do, well, it's there. Trust me, it's there, and if you don't loop it up, you're going to have some problems. All right, well, I'm going to try one more time on this side here to see if we can't figure it out again. Single band goes straight up. Reach in, grab the diagonal band, which is on top, which is the one that goes down into the right-hand side, lower right-hand side. Go into that same pin, grab the one that goes up. Okay. I'm going to try something here. I don't know if it's going to let me zoom out or not so that I can maybe 
show you where that can I even see it it's hard to see because it's the second one in but oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it alright maybe you can see how to go in this is where we left off we still have this single band to go up but before we bring that single band up we're going to drop down on top of these bands that are on the right hand side and if you go in and find that last band that's the band that you want to bring up and over okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish mine um, rewind pause whatever you need to do and um, then I'll be back well you know what I've done one two I've done several of them so before we do that before I go off and actually come back and show you what it looks like to pull it off the loom, we're going to go ahead and drop down here and pull up a few of these um, border bands. Okay? So, put your border band on. And you see there I didn't push that down very well, and I have not much space to put that border band on. So, I'll go down and I'm going to grab that border band and bring it back up to itself. You know how to do that. But make sure you finish the sequence in here first before you do these border bands. Okay, I'm just doing this so I don't have to come back on and and show you how to do the border bands and then come back and you know, you know the drill. Okay? So, finish these sections here all the way up. Do your border bands and I will meet you back here um, ready to take it off of the loom. I think um well, what I'll do is I'll show you how to close it at the top and what it looks like at the top. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I finished these pieces first and then brought the borders to the center. Now, one thing I want to tell you, do you see these pins that go across here or bands that go across here? You should have those on every single one of your pins. If you don't, then that means that you did not lift that um, under um, band. So check your, I've already checked mine, so check your um, loom, make sure those are done. If not, you might want to go back and undo some things and um, uh, put them back in there. And I think I said it would make it fall apart. It will not make your bracelet fall apart, but it will not look right. You will not have um, those diagonals in the band, uh, in the bracelet. So uh, that being said, you know, double check those before you take it off the loom. I am going to go ahead and take this off and hope that I got everything caught. Um, normally I will do the side here. Okay, I just wanted to tell you about those pieces that, that went across. So um, I suppose I could have taken this off before I came back on, but then I wouldn't have been able to have told you about those pieces. So we're going to go ahead and take this off um, very carefully, just lift them try not to break any bands and I will see you back here when I take this off. I am back and one thing I forgot to tell you which was really not very nice of me because you could have unlooped this and went up oh, and everything would have fallen apart. I have forgotten to add my clip to the bottom of this so I'm gonna reach in and well I'm gonna try to reach in and grab the right band okay and bring it up and I'm just going to use my trusty little clip here because I don't like C-clips. So, close that off. And then I'll finish this up and take it, take it off with you. Look, it's turned out so nice. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm liking this very much. Liking it very, very much. So, I'll get to the very end here. Pull that off this one off and then take that very last one off. Let me move this out of the way. Give it a little stretch. I have some um, bands to fix and some beads to fix, but I really, really like this. It is such a cute little design. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look how pretty. And I suppose you could have put something up the center here, um, but because I was using these, I did not want to um, do anything in the center there. So that's why I did not. So it has the larger holes. So you could put beads up, up the center if you wanted instead of putting these little guys on the side or 
whatever you want. Now I made it a little bit shorter actually which is a good thing because look at this. I am not going to be able to use my magnetic clasp on this but that's okay I can use a C-clip and it fits me perfectly and I stopped I think three from the top you'll have to go back and take a look at it but I'm very very happy with this it turned out very very nicely. If you make this um, Railroad Ties bracelet, please don't forget to hashtag the Looming Artist, hashtag the Railroad Ties bracelet, and hashtag Lila's Gigi. Awesome. Until we see you again, take care.